Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. We have a really great session today on risk mitigation and insurance benefits of open space. I'm Michael Williams, I'm on the strategy team here at Open Space, and I run our insurance initiatives. And joining me is Shelly Rose with Power Design and Justin Levine with Shepard. Shelly, if you don't mind introducing yourself and a little more on your role in Power Design and then kick it over to Justin. Um, I'm Shelly Ross. Uh, I've worked for Power Design for a little over 11 years now. They started in 1989. We are today a design build uh, multi-trade contractor that does mechanical, plumbing, electrical. We're all across the United States. Uh, I do deal with all the risk management and the claims mitigation. So over several corporate insurance policies and personal insurance policies for some of the executives and handle all their claims and loss mitigation strategies and things like that. Awesome, and uh, thank you, Mike, for putting this together. And Shelly, great to see you. Uh, my name is Justin Levine. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Shepard. Uh, Shepard is a tech-enabled uh, insurance provider for the commercial construction space. Uh, we founded the company in the early part of 2021 and launched our first insurance products, uh, Excess Casualty, here in 20 or, or last year, I should say, in 2022. Um, we are really focused on uh, trying to deliver innovative, innovative insurance products for uh, the country's best contractors and builders. Uh, so we've had the pleasure of working with Open Space and, and with great clients like Shelly uh, to try to be able to reward contractors for their investments in technology. And excited to talk more about that today. Great. Thanks, guys. So mitigating construction risk has always been really important, um, but you guys have been around a while and been in the industry for a while. In your day-to-day, -day, what are some of the trends that you're seeing or what are some of the unique challenges that are presenting themselves today that may have been different five or 10 years ago or even a year ago or pre-pandemic? So Shelly, over to you first. What are some of the trends that you're seeing, which is making your job a little more difficult now than it was in the past? Um, I would say compared to the past, um, some of the trends that we're seeing is that, you know, the, the claims are much larger. Uh, you know, some of the water claims, for example, you know, when the water comes in, uh, there's lots of damage. Um, you know, the buildings are bigger, the projects are bigger, the, uh, the equipment um, or the materials cost a lot more. So, you know, just a product of the economy um, is how it impacts everything in construction. And Justin, you've kind of seen things from a lot of different angles on the contractor side and now being kind of on the other end of it and kind of helping manage risk um, as uh, an insurance company. So maybe talk a little bit how the industry's changed and over time and kind of some of the unique challenges that you're seeing today. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, as you mentioned, I, I started my career on the contractor side. I was a, a risk manager at a, a really large GC in the New York City market. Uh, really, I kind of like the hub of, of some of the most complex and, 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 and really challenging risks from an insurance perspective. So it was an amazing place to learn. Um, I would say, you know, fundamentally, the role of the risk manager has really evolved pretty significantly over the last, you know, let's say five years. Um, both as the total cost of risk has risen and, and now, uh, you know, the percentage that each contractor is paying for insurance on projects uh, is just significantly bigger than what it's ever been before. So um, it is now a, a line item that can really determine kind of success and growth and, and can be a big differentiator in a competitive uh, competitive bid or competitive nego negotiation. I also think the, the role of risk manager has evolved into being more cross-functional than ever. Um, it's no longer kind of, uh, you know, somebody sitting in Shelly's seat uh, who's only focused on uh, renewals and insurance terms. Uh, they are engaged uh, broadly in the use of technology and the way that that's being deployed across the operational side of the business. Um, and I think that's pretty exciting from a risk management perspective. It's uh, the ability to really change behavior out in the field uh, and, and, and then leverage that behavior change for uh, what we believe is what contractors deserve, which is, you know, preferred treatment for, uh, you know, best in class uh, approach uh, from an operational perspective. Um, what we've also seen from a technology perspective in the last five years is a pretty heavy consolidation. 
um, and, and, and more, much more of a standardization of the way that contractors are utilizing tools. Um, and I think Power Design is a great example of this, where they've really standardized uh, a lot of their procedures around the use of open space uh, on almost every project uh, that they're they're deploying out in the field. Um, and we're seeing a lot of this across different technologies, uh, whether it be project management software, whether it be uh, reality capture or uh, wearables or or IoT or or, or tele. Um, the more that we can standardize and consolidate, the easier it is as an insurance provider to study the resultant data that comes from these tools and then to develop our own modeling around the impact uh, of, of these technologies. And so um, obviously the growth of, of, of a company like OpenSpace, the success that you guys have had has really allowed us to lean in uh, and, 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 and to understand this data at a broader set. Uh, and then apply it uh, when we're, you know, in the process of underwriting and ultimately, uh, you know, proposing on a on a particular uh, contractor's account. So, Shelly, talk a little a little bit more about how Power Design is using open space to mitigate risks on projects. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, like I said, we do. We're constantly recording with open space. Um, you know. Gosh, when we, like I said, when we get on, uh, when we leave, it's, you know, in our practice that they have to record, supers have to walk around and record once weekly. Uh, we have videos that show them how to do this and, and the benefits of it. Um, and where it's really helped us is our relationships with the general contractors and really with uh, carriers like Shepard because, we, from the general contractor side, they actually come to us now instead of the finger pointing. So, you know, when there is a claim because, you know, pipe was hit or something was hit, something happened, um, you know, instead of the point, them pointing the finger at us, they're kind of coming to us and saying, hey, can we utilize this tool with you? And do you have these reports and can you share them with us? Because we want to understand what happened, uh, which is a benefit and then, you know, able to provide it to carriers like Shepard and just say, you know, this is why we're utilizing this, how we're utilizing it, uh, which makes us much safer to be a partner with. Um, you know, so it's really helped us out a lot uh, from the relationship perspective. That's great. Justin, shall I touch on a few things there? Um, kind of the collaboration benefit and then also some of the more technical benefits that that power design gets from using open space from, from your perspective of kind of underwriting that risk. What are some of the key advantages that you see when a contractor is using a tool like open space or other construction technologies? And how does that impact your underwriting decision when underwriting a policy for them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that the number one benefit that we identify with a tool like open space is that it, it creates a proactive risk management process. Um, and what we mean by that is um, you're, you're really sort of uh, identifying issues uh, or, or potentially even, you know, incidents or near misses or uh, things that are uh, have the potential to become claims that could be corrected before that manifests into an actual loss. Um, obviously, the more that we can identify uh, either unsafe or incorrect conditions uh, in a in a timely and then obviously a, a fast resolution uh, uh, that comes out of that, then then you know we're reducing the ultimate uh, losses that are going to develop behind uh, that particular client. So that's a really big value is creating this proactive approach to um, making sure that we're covering job sites, doing our QAQC, and obviously uh, impacting day to day safety if there are unsafe conditions or things that need to be corrected on the job site. Um, that's really part one. I think part two that Shelley also alluded, alluded to is how can a tool like open space really benefit uh, our contractor in the event of a claim? Uh, and one of the things that we focus on a lot is uh, the ability to investigate incidents or investigate claims and, and provide uh, really a comprehensive story of, of what happened, uh, leaning into that uh, particular loss. Um, and obviously a tool like open space provides really all the context uh, that you would want around uh, who was on a job site, what happened, what were the conditions that ultimately led to a claim. Um, I think we're of a belief that the more information that is available, uh, it, it certainly helps. Um, it, it's, it's something that you can, um, from a carrier perspective, uh, it, it helps us formulate 
uh, the right approach to that particular claim and obviously work with our client to come up with the, the best outcome um, for everybody involved. So it's both proactive and then also very helpful, helpful in the reactive as well. Yeah. So Justin, talk maybe a little bit. I know the goal here is that you can provide a better total cost of insurance for for the contractor world, but maybe talk more specifically about the specific kinds of returns on investment that contractors can get from an open space and shepherd partnership. Yeah. Um, I think the 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 first uh, value, and and I think in in many ways the most important to a lot of our clients is dollars, um, and so you know we we certainly uh, provide underwriting credits uh, when we are able to underwrite the the use of of a tool like Open Space and um, in the and, and to use obviously uh, Power Design as an example, um, you know the more that a contractor has leaned in and and adopted Open Space uh, both from a depth perspective, so how consistently are they doing job site walks uh, and, and, and on, a, on a specific project, and then how broadly are they using the tool across their portfolio of projects. Uh, ultimately, that ends, up un, that ends up manifesting itself in underwriting credits. So typically our proposals will, will decrease in, in total premium pretty significantly from, uh, from that data set. Um, the other area that, that certainly uh, benefits quite a bit is, 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 is terms and conditions. So, um, every contractor uh, has, you know, unique elements of their insurance program that they need support from their carrier partners. Um, and sometimes contractors operate in, you know, more difficult jurisdictions than others, uh, areas of the country that, you know, from a litigation perspective are um, just more challenging. Uh, and, and this is where we are seeing that frequency of, of severe claims. Um, and so when we can point at a, a technology like open space that's being deployed, uh, it certainly gives us a lot more comfort around being uh, uh, aggressive or, or being able to support um, unique coverages or are certainly contractors that are operating in some of the more difficult parts of, of the United States. That's great. And Shelly, I guess maybe if you could touch on what ultimately was the needle mover of why you guys decided to place a policy with Shepard. Uh, you know, we've talked generally about a lot of the, the benefits. So as much as you can, maybe talk about the ultimate motivation of why you wanted to place uh, a policy with Shepard through this partnership with Open Space. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's an easy answer for me, honestly. Um, you know, it, it was a no brainer. Uh, Open Space kind of got us through some, some tough times with COVID. And then, you know, I want to say it was, gosh, maybe. Uh, Right around a year ago, I want to say was when the um, the kind of press release got shared with me, or the notification that you know Shepherd and Open Space were partnering, and it just makes things so much easier when you know uh, somebody like Justin and his team and they understand what Open Space is, how it can be utilized, how it can be beneficial. And then, you know, them also being in the insurance marketplace and just kind of really breaking into that um, with the excess markets and being able to be, have the relationship with us and be really a team member that, you know, they can let us know what's going on with their market updates and what they're seeing out there. So just talking to you all from the beginning and, and you know, us already utilizing open space and understanding how it works and, you know, Shepard having that connection and just knowing and understanding and maybe being able to underwrite uh, that policy and, and rate it based on their understanding of how beneficial open space can be and how it can monitor these projects and how it really makes us, you know, a safer company to to work with from a risk management perspective because at the end of the day as an underwriter that's what it really is is you know how risky are you you know to work with is the, you know power design um and i think that they can see by the tools that we've used and how we've utilized open space that you know we're safer to work with the most because of that and, and how it's developed for us and we've used it over the years so yeah well, thanks everyone for joining. And most importantly, Shelly and Justin, thanks so much for joining me today and talking a little bit about the open space and Shepherd partnership and how it can benefit contractors like Power Design. And if you want to learn more about our partnership with Shepherd, head to www.openspace.ai. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. 
Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.